I just watched Dune Part 2 in theaters finally, and I just gotta say one thing, which is you should watch this movie in the theaters because this is not the type of movie to watch at home. If you watch this movie at home, it's gonna be meh, it's gonna be all right, it'll be a little boring at times and you're just gonna watch it with not that loud a volume you won't experience the full theater experience which in a movie like this is gonna be all about the sound effects more even than the uh, huge visuals which was really beautiful to see as well but the sound oh my god the sound it's like the and the, and the music like it's just it's really the sound design that makes the movie experience worth it really I mean if I watch any of the Dune part one or part two movies at home, I would not have really enjoyed my time. And in the theater, I would say the theater experience was worth it. And I probably won't watch it again when it comes out on digital at home, just like I didn't watch Dune part one when it came out on digital. So yeah, if you haven't seen Dune part two, I mean, if you haven't seen Dune part one, then you probably should watch part one and then see Dune two in theaters. But if you haven't seen Dune two in theaters, I highly recommend you check it out if you're into all that huge sound movie going experience and otherwise just skip it and realize that it's it's not a movie for you and you probably won't enjoy it even if you go having read the book during the pandemic in the 2020 i was really curious how they were going to have paula trady's younger sister be a baby actor. I thought they were going to do a CGI baby talking and stuff like that, but I guess they just did not include the baby sister at all. And it's funny that I did imagine Anya Taylor-Joy appearing in the movie, although I did not imagine her as the sister, obviously, because in the book, the sister is still a baby or like two to three years old or something like that. Not even. I imagined Anya Taylor-Joy as the character that Florence Pugh plays. But it's funny that she was cast anyway, and she was in the movie for like five seconds. Anyways, I wouldn't call it a fun movie, but I would call it a movie experience to be had. So I'm glad I checked it out in theaters. I'll see you tomorrow. 1% better every day, baby. Dinner.